How you start is how you finish. When doing spiritual work, I can't emphasize this enough, is that when you embark on doing spiritual work, you have to have set everything already in motion. Be it love work, be it money work. You have to set your ducks in a row. What do I mean by this? Let's just say you're doing money magic. You want to make sure that you've done your proper promotion. You've proofread your ads. If you own your own business, you've proofread your resume and you filled out your application to the best of your ability. Now, when it comes to love magic, it's the same thing. If you just broke off with someone, you never want to leave unpleasantly. You don't want to leave disrespectfully because this here builds up resentment. If you plan on doing love magic on them in the near future, this may become a problem because they have a lot of resistance built up towards you. What did I used to say? Anger impedes the process of reasoning. So in a situation like this, what would be the wise thing to do was to leave peacefully so that when you do your love magic and can have an easy effect on the person. And this will actually bring down the time frame that you have to wait in order for that person to reach back out to you. The latter only prolongs the situation. So, again, how you start is how you finish. If you start off terrible, going back to money work, if you do not fill your application out correctly, your resume is poor. Don't expect to see a pot of gold at the end of the road. I'm going to give you an example. For those of you who's been curious about spiritual rings, yes, we do make God rings. We have the master of the woods. We have a street sweeper. If you're interested in any of these rings, you can contact me directly at 973-395-6455. If that's not feasible for you, we have other contact areas in the description area. Talk to you soon. Years ago, when I was in the construction business, I remember I would do my rituals before I sought out work. One time, I made my resume and I didn't proofread my resume I actually messed up on my contact information so I was used to receiving calls during the week I'm like hmm this is strange I haven't received any calls this week Come to find out, I went back to look at my ad and I realized I made a mistake in my contact. I actually put a wrong digit there. So, what am I saying to you? I'm saying that you want to prepare. They say the five P's are proper preparation prevents poor performance. 
So I gave you this example so that you don't make the same mistake. Again, even in a love situation or a matter of love, don't leave off on bad terms. Try to iron things out because it's going to be extremely hard for you to bring that person back if you leave them in that state.